So um, thanks for having me. And just to reiterate, I, I took um, four classes with Al, and that doesn't include the class that I tried to take my freshman year, but uh, Al said that uh, uh, it was for, uh, what do they call them, uh, people who are not freshmen. Yeah, and so he just gave me a little sort of taste of it, and I came back every year, and I took at least one class with him, and um, and I wish that the uh, writer's house had been around. Um, it would have been wonderful, and I think it might have um, changed what this essay is about, if in fact uh, they'd been around. And I'll leave it at that, and sorry, I'm a little bit shorter. Um, so this is an essay that I wrote for Salon uh, magazine about 10 years ago. The title of it is My Life Ate My Homework. <laughs> I really shouldn't be writing this. I'm 26 years old, four years out of college, and a freelance writer. But although writing is the way I foot my bills, there is one piece of writing I can't seem to tackle, a lingering college paper. You see, I'm part of a secret little cabal, the incompletes. We went to college, we did our four years, more or less. We took all the classes necessary to graduate, but we never really finished them. My one incomplete, okay, technically I have two, is in urban studies. In my second year at the University of Pennsylvania, that's 1992, um, I couldn't get into the class I wanted, and I found myself considering a course for all the wrong reasons. No homework, no tests, just one big paper. Perfect. But I was busy dealing with sharing an apartment with my ex-girlfriend and then her then occasional boyfriend. As the semester and the drama wore on, I had no time for papers. So I called my professor and I asked him for an incomplete. And here I should do a side note, this was not Al. <clears throat> the professor agreed and I went off to a semester abroad in Mexico, figuring I'd finish the paper when I got back. That was seven years ago. Recently, I've begun reminding myself of all the things people have accomplished while I was trying to forget about my paper. And here, remember this was written 10 years ago. Nelson Mandela became president of South Africa. President Clinton survived impeachment. And yes, I have friends finishing law school. I wondered how many people were faux alumni like me. So I called Penn, <laughs> and they put me through to Dr. Hossein Fetney, the very graduation officer I'd been avoiding for years. I introduced myself, and before I could get into a question, he asked his own, have you finished your paper? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, I'm um, doing an essay about incompletes. Uh, how common is the problem? He said, Penn doesn't keep stats, but he estimates that every year about 30 seniors don't graduate because of incompletes. And then he added, many of these folks will graduate weeks, not years late. Needing a pick-me-up, I called some fellow travelers. Nothing consoles me so much as other incompletes' tales of dejection and deception. There's Rich, 31. He had told me during my senior year, do the paper now or you're never going to do it. I had obviously ignored such cliche advice. When I called Rich a few weeks ago, he still hadn't written his paper. Now 10 years overdue. <laughs> then there's Brad. He used to watch cable all day during college. Now he's a high-powered TV exec. Yes, he lied on his resume. Me, I only massage mine. OK, I lied once, but I didn't get the job. And until recently, I've kept my incompletes on the down low. I've confessed to some of my newer friends, but not to my college friends, as if only they realized how much time has passed. Like any self-respecting American, I'm trying to reinvent myself and forget my past. After college, I landed in a magazine and eventually worked there as, a, as an editor a job where I learned to deal with at least other people's deadlines. But I still avoided my paper and feared anybody who might mention it. For the first few years after college, I would break into <clears throat> a sweat whenever I spoke to my parents. I thought they were going to bring up the paper. I remember a few years ago talking to my mom. She paused and whispered, can't you just get somebody to do it for you? <laughs> I laughed nervously, my poor mother begging me to cheat. Then she confessed to having nightmares about me never writing it. <clears throat> Gradually, we developed an unspoken truce. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> Years passed. Given all the trouble it's caused me, why don't I just do it? Perhaps I need a better therapist, but I think it's fairly basic. I am, probably like you, a procrastinator. And to me, the paper re represents the past, failure. 
To confront the paper, in a sense, would be regressing. I wouldn't be an aspiring freelance writer, but an angst-ridden student who didn't turn in a single paper on time for two years. Also, the paper I haven't done, it's supposed to be 50 pages. There's also another very practical reason I haven't done it. I've been getting away with it. If I don't do a story I've been assigned, I lose money and burn bridges. If I don't do my paper, well, that's just another story idea. Still, denial isn't fun, and that's at least partly why I'm writing this essay. By le letting everyone in on my secret, I'm beginning to confront the facts. The paper is not going to write itself or disappear from my conscience. So far, my little 12-step, hi, I'm Eric, and I'm an incomplete, seems, <laughs> seems to be working. Since I began this little confessional project, I've called my professors, finished and turned in one paper, and quite literally dusted off the files on the other. <clears throat> the best part was talking to my parents. I finally told them the truth. Two papers, not one. Their response was almost disappointingly nonchalant. They were just happy I was telling them and confronting it, at least partly confronting it. Next week, I'm off for a few months to Indonesia. I told myself I'd do the paper before I left, but I'm running out of time, busying myself with other stories, like this one. <laughs> and... I, I should add a postscript for kids at home. Um, I did eventually do the paper. I graduated. I, I got a B plus. Right. <laughs>